Soul Connections for Twin Flames 1. Twin Flames shares the same over soul as you and holds your keys and codes for your awakening ascension. 2. There can be many other fractal versions of you which is only a tiny part of your over soul having a human experience on this earth or off this planet. 3. These relationships do not work out best as romantic but they do work out best as a close friend. However, they can be romantic, but you both have to be aligned. Otherwise, the abandonment and rejection issues can arise during this time. 4. Twin flames can be of the same sex. Because please note that our spirit is not human or male or female. Our spirit and over soul is an energy being. 5. Twins are not located near each other. It is normal for them to be even in another country. They come together here on Earth to have a different experience and have their own mission and purpose. 6. They will trigger you as they are here to do that and wake you up and help you to become a better version of yourself and push you to make better choices. This is for your soul growth. 7. On this Earth the connection can be confusing as it is such a big pull and your heart goes through so many emotions. 8. Many confuse it as a sexual connection because the twin awakens you and opens up your heart and many memories can flood in. 9. The connection can activate your kundalini. 10. In astral the connection is not sexual as you know who is who, if it is sexual then you are connecting with a wrong spiritual being. 11. Our souls do not have the same needs as our human needs. 12. We are energy beings having an human experience. 13. Do not waste your time looking for your twin flame as your soul will bring them to you if they are needed and when the time is right. 14. You will encounter wrong connections by searching for your twin flame. Your soul knows who and where they are and when they need to come to play, do not doubt your soul it has your back even though it seems it doesn't, it will bring you lessons for your soul growth. 15. When twin flames reunite the masculine and feminine energies come together and spiritually align. 16. Twin flames main role is to hold energies for the Earth's grid and this helps humanity for the ascension. 17. One twin may not be on this Earth and that is okay as they can still work together and it will not be a sexual connection. 18. It is not safe to have sexual encounters with others in astral. As this is not safe, the trickster energies can disguise themselves as anyone to trick you to steal your keys and codes. You need to remember that your soul does not require sexual encounters in astral. This is a 3D mindset and mentality. 19. Do not mix your human needs with what your soul needs. You need to change your belief systems. 20. Feeling separated is a human feeling and you need to do more inner work. 21. The Earth energies have changed since 2012, but there is so much more work for us all to do daily, because the dark forces are always changing their game plan. 22. Twin flames are used to being high vibrational beings, as they can hold a lot of high frequencies, but when they come to Earth, they struggle with energies here. Many get addicted behaviors. The obvious ones are drugs and alcohol, but it also can be gambling, sex, shopping, eating, fitness, and so on. 23. Many twin flames will choose a hard path to experience, as they know this will be their last life on Earth. 24. Once you remember who you are, you can work towards a happier life. A past life regression can help you to remember or through meditation. 25. Work on your addictions, feeling alone, detached, unworthy, unloved, awaiting to be rescued by your twin. 26. You volunteer to come here for your mission and to help humanity. 27. You are very powerful and you are connected to higher realms. Call in for help if you are struggling or need more connection. 
28, you can activate your 12 strands quickly and more. When you do this, it helps many others here on Earth as your frequency and vibration is very high and powerful. 29. For those who are empaths, you can feel humanity's pain. If something happens globally, you will feel humanity's vibration spikes up and down. Ground yourself more often. 30. You are part of the 144,000 prophesied light workers. You need to spread your light and it is important to humanity. And this earth you do not forget your mission. 31. The matrix and negative beings shut down our powers. You need to activate them again. We just need to tap into our superpower. 32. The white hats and light workers are helping humanity behind the scenes. Many of these light workers are working on the Earth's energy grids and working on more positive timelines. Many leave their day jobs to help humanity, so do not mind when they ask for a fair price for their services or ask for donations as they too have bills. 33. You come so far now, the Earth is moving to 5D as planned. This is not the time for anyone to give up. Mother Earth, humanity and animals need our help to lift the vibration. We plan to be here, so let's get the job done together. After all, we are one big family of love and light. Ancestor Soul Connections 1. This is someone we know well and they are from our bloodline. 2. They are always trying to help you even when they have crossed over. 3 can be romantic or good friends or family member. 4. Not all ancestors have our highest and best interest, so when you call upon them in rituals or prayers for support, always say, I only call upon my ancestors who only have my highest and best interest. 5. You will feel comfortable around your ancestors' connection. Soulmate Soul Connections 1. This person will always have your back too. In difficult times, they will not abandon you. 3. These relationships can be platonic or romantic or family member 4. You would had many past lives together. 5. No relationship is perfect. Soulmates have a contract to support you, and they can move on once you have shifted 6. They help you to grow and be your best. This does not mean they are perfect, as they also have faults. 7. This is a unique bond. Soulless Portal Soul Connection 1. There are many names for them. Common one is backdrop people in a physical vessel. 2. They are without a soul but have a role to play. 3. They can cross your path and may say something that gets a reaction off you. This may be for your higher good or not, depending how they are coded for. Some spiritual people can see through their eyes and see that they are soulless five. They do have energy as everything is energy, but they have no soul and can play a part in our story. 6. Do not think for a minute that you may be a soulless portal. A soulless portal would not be looking to change or looking to find a soul purpose. It would not have the same needs as a human, though they do look human. They are just like backdrop people in our story. Dolores Cannon has more information on this subject. Spirit Guides Soul Connection 1. We all come to Earth with a team of helpers. These are your spirit guides. 2. They try not to interfere in our life plan, but they do give you hints and signs. But many of us take no notice. 3. We should give them our permission to help us more often and ask them to intervene. 4. These guides do have personalities just like we do, and some may be stubborn, so you may need to change them for another spirit guide. 5. Different guides have different strengths, so call in for more help. 6. Some spirit guides' energies need upgrading, they don't have experience in all matters. 7. There are meditations, prayers, and rituals how to connect with them and how to call them in. Many videos on YouTube 8. Your guides know your life plan so they can see the bigger picture 9. Always go with your first gut feeling.
Your Higher Self Soul Connection 1. Your Higher Self is you, and it wants what is best for you even though you may feel it doesn't. The Higher Self knows everything about you. 2. If your lessons are too hard, speak with your Higher Self to give you a break from the hardship and bring you more happier timelines. Praise and rituals will help you to change your life plan. 3. Your higher self is not concerned with money or job, it is concerned about soul growth, and it just wants you to learn the lessons you agreed to learn before you come to Earth. 4. Your higher self wants you to look within yourself. 5. Nikola Tesla said everything is vibrations and frequencies, everything is made of numbers, so numerology, Grabovoi numbers and Gematria calculator may help you to change your timelines. Karmic Soul Connection 1. This relationship is great at first, and the reason you will fall in love for a karmic connection is because you made the contract before you come to Earth. It feels like you know this person so well, and you will want to be with them no matter how many red flags or difficulties you face. 2. They are meant to mirror your darkest part of your soul. 3. This relationship is not meant to last, as it is meant to break you to make you to a new person. 4. If you do your shadow work, you can avoid this sort of relationship. 5. After the breakup, you will see their true colors and their narcissist ways. 6. Remember this is for your soul growth, and it is more likely you did this to someone in another life. 7. Remember what goes around comes around. 8. Everyone who comes into your life is a reflection of you. So it is very important you do the inner work. 9. Send love to everyone who crosses your path. In return, this will reflect back to you. If you cannot do this, then your journey will be a hard one. The easy road is to forgive and forget and move on. 10. This pain is deep and only by sending love from your heart. No matter how much it hurts will heal you. Make up a mantra to help you. For example, keep repeating, I send you love and light. 11. People who trigger you bring you a message that you are still bothered about your past and you see yourself as someone who you are really not. The more awareness you have, the more you can move on. 12. Triggers bring up the pain that is not healed. Your ego will come and protect you. This is not a good place to be at 13. Keep in mind this is a story and a play. Be the best character you can in this play. To find a good relationship, we must be ready to let go of attachments. Be detached. Do not be controlling and let it be. Do not judge others. Do not compare yourself to others. Show compassion in all situations. Come from a place of love and not hate. Forgive others. Forgive yourself. Do not look for love outside of you. Do not have resentments and not be jealous. Do not be bitter. Do not be quick to get angry. Do not get triggered easily. Do service for other. Do not be obsessed with someone or worldly goods. Do not look for revenge. Live in the present. All these steps will get you close to your right partner in life.